Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to the next installment of the Beginner's Junk Journal series here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. I'm Julie, I'm the CEO and Queen Creator here at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY and we are working in our Reader's Digest journal and as you can see we are so close hopefully, <laughs> to being done. So we have some More. embellishments that we have made. We're going to go ahead and go through and um, some of the places need things. So we're going to use some of these items here on the desk. Stick those in there. Use these up and let's get going. So there will be a little bit of putting it in and a little bit of crafting. Here we go. Okay, so we have a pocket here. I think we can go ahead and put some kids on a card in there. Okay, so we we have this card up here, but we could use another one down here. So we have some Project Life cards here. Project Life cards end up, usually they are the perfect size. I pulled out some other ones too. Okay, so we already have this card, and this one says good times on the other side. I like the match, looks good. So let's go ahead and decorate this. So we have some of, some just some little things that we have up here, and we have one of our stamps from the Beach Beauties digital kit. There is a mini ephemera page and it has like little postage stamp sized images and so I think we'll use that. So we're getting down to the end and getting down to the end of things that we can use. We're going to go ahead and use one of these pieces from a guest check. I usually always take these off my guest checks. I like to use them to decorate my cards. We have one piece of distressed book page. So are you enjoying this series? Have you learned anything? What's the, what's the aha moment that you had during this series? or something that you're going to be putting into place or you've already started doing. So this is a little different than the than what we're doing in the morning. In the morning at 10:30, a lot of those videos are the, from the challenges and so we're only allowed to use this this month we're only allowed to use the 15 items that we chose. Um, so, but this is anything goes. You can use anything. So there is a little card. You got a place to uh, journal on the other side, and we'll just flip that right in there. There we go. So there, yay! We got one of those done. So I know we are going to be doing some other edge things, but we'll go ahead and just add some washi right there. It's one of the things that I like to do is just add washi to the edge of pages. Um, it helps to make them more stronger. More stronger? Makes them stronger. Okay, so here we have one of our edge border tucks. So we have a place that we can put, we can put something. So let's see, what do we have? And probably you know what we could put them in there you know what 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 was the one that we put over here this happens sometimes sometimes you go oh okay so see this one and they're on the right side and this one it flips over I think we want to put this one here and let it flip over like that okay and then this one because they're on the right side 
it can stick in there and you'll still see Shelly. You can write over the top of that if you wanted to. And now we didn't we didn't fill these pieces in, but you can go ahead and fill over your envelope if you want to. You could even have another belly band. I'm not going to do that because I don't even want to be tempted to have another pocket to fill because this is getting pretty chunky right here. And oh, we have a place for a flip flop and we do have this. Okay, so this is a from a calendar book and we can go ahead and glue that in like a flip flop. Okay, so flip flop, we're just gonna go ahead, it's already been folded, this one has, and we're gonna go ahead and fold it again with between a quarter to a half of an inch. I have to pull it towards me, sorry. Quarter to half of an inch gutter. And we'll just put the glue right down in it. So putting the glue right on here. Oh, let's go ahead and fold it back. Before you add the glue, fold it back. Oh, I got one of those flowers, the spinning flowers from Dollar Tree and it is spinning like crazy today and it just moved again and it's hitting, it's hitting the window. <laughs> so if you hear that, that noise in the background, that's what that is. Okay, so we have a flip-flop. This is just a flip-flop, not an original flip-flop. The original flip-flop, literally, I'll show you on, I think there's one more of these in here. Okay, so there, got our flip-flop. Lots of places to write in this journal. Lots of places. There's a there's a, another flip flop. Okay, that one's a true flip flop. So you see how the paper flips? It's because the the little gutter is actually attached to the um, the flap, the flip flop flap. It's attached to the flip flop flap. <laughs> Okay, this is the center of our signature and we've got it like um, put together. There's our our edge. I love that. Love that edge. Okay. Let's see, there's another pocket. Okay, so here's another um, place. We have one of the business cards that we we did put there. And let's go ahead and add a stamp to that okay just to give it a little bit of something 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 okay so we're going to add a stamp add it right on there and then we're using this washi tape so we can just go ahead and put some washi tape that's not going to take up even as much room as the little postage stamp that we we use the postal scissors so if you have your decorative scissors they're a lot of fun to use in your your journals okay so there's that and that'll just stick in there or it can come down here we'll see after we get our our other one our other card made so we have this card I don't think either one of these will fit I think it's too big yep so we have this it can go in like this and then we have our little tag I think we'll just do that and we're just going to go ahead and let's put this in so it's in the right orientation okay like that and we're just going to go ahead and staple it 
Oh, tiny attachers in the kitchen. I know, that's a weird place for a tiny attacher, but I was tiny attaching something for the garden. <laughs> okay, so that can just fit right in there. So we just took one of the cards, the tags that we made from the card, and added it to there. And now our double tuck is full. So here we have another one of these. And we happen to have another one of these. And this time we are going to attach it to the flap. So we're going to want our gutter on this side. I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's our gutter, okay? So you don't have to put something in a flap. That's gonna just give you more area to be able to journal and add things. But with the flip-flop, all you lose is that little gutter edge okay so now that's going to open and you're going to have your your true flip-flop okay so when you add your flip-flop to the flap <laughs> you have an original flip-flop and it does that okay and that's how it got its name flip-flop okay There's the lobster. It's fun to go through this and see the things that we've made. There's been some really, really fun things. So this one doesn't have um, a Julie Shelley card on it at all. So let's go ahead and give it a Julie Shelley card. Uh, journaling card and you saw this in the playing card video which part two will be coming very soon I'll be doing that in one of our 1030 in the morning videos with more ways to use your cards I'm actually using cards in my June just 15 junk journal for the challenge Okay, so that can go up or it can go down or it can go sideways. I think we'll just have it go in sideways, okay? But it has paper on the back so that you can go ahead and um, journal on it. And let's go ahead and give it some net because the, there's already fluffiness on this page from the the other journaling card has fluff and stuff on the top there. Okay, so this is net and I think some flip-flops came in that net. Okay, so we have another space that needs that needs something. Now we have our matchbook style note paper. And if you have other papers and things, you can add them to these and make this actually a little notebook. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just put this right in here. And we're gonna let it flip up like that. Here and here we have another edge piece. Oh, here we go. We have our guest check. And we can go ahead and put this here. And let's go ahead and Oh look at this is the full page from the thing. But we'll just go ahead and rip some of this just like that.
So we'll decorate it just a little bit more, adding some of the avocado dyed ledger paper scrap that we had. But this journal is still, it's beautiful. I, th I think it's beautiful. Sure has been fun to work, work in. So there, we just gave it a little bit of interest onto that guest check. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and while we're here, we'll add another piece of washi. There we go. And maybe a piece of this washi. To this page this one's kind of like wood grain it reminds me of the beach kind of wood grain okay so I think oh we've got this here and I think we will add one of our cards okay so I had already gone ahead and let's put them in. Okay, so we're putting them in this belly band. Okay. There we go. Flip up. And our last pocket. And we can put her. Okay. So that get, got a lot of a lot of these gone. I really don't want to have extra, you guys. I, I want this, everything to be, to be gone. Gone. I want it all to be gone. So it's going to be a really full journal, and um, if you purchase this journal, because it will, it will be in the Etsy shop um, after the flip through. Um, if you purchase this journal, it is going to have all these extra pieces in it, and you can go ahead and take the pieces out, either use them for something else, or. What I do is a lot of times on the journals that I have, my personal journals, I go ahead and I take the pieces out and then add them as I use them, as I need them and use them. So that might be a way for you to use this if it's, if it's your journal. And because it is pretty... It is pretty full. Got one of these. This is a really full page, but I think that that's a good, good place for that. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, so we have another one of these cards. And you know what? I think okay so we need some um, paper clips still so I'm thinking we'll save this we'll make a paper clip out of that we have this just happen to need something in there huh Put her, okay, so put her in there. Okay, so I think the rest of these I can use in the paperclip video. And so that is the one we need to do paperclips, because there's, I, I use just regular paperclips in here. We need to um, 
do our signature strings, something to them, and our washi, stenciling, and stamping. So watch for those to come very, very soon. And so I think this is really exciting. If so you're here for the premiere, hi, I'm waving. And say hi to Midnight. And there, we can add that right there. Yay! And if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Please, if you're here for the premiere, say hi and let us welcome you in the chat. And we are so glad that you're here. We have a video every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. Usually it has to do with the challenge that I do each month. Sometimes it'll be another crafty little thing, um, happy meal or a shopping haul. And something new that I'm doing, if you see me post a happy meal or a shopping haul, I'm going to take something from that and I'm going to make something. So there's always going to be um, a little em embellishment or some little trick in those videos as well. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and just in case YouTube doesn't tell you, we have that schedule. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, don't forget to go watch one of these videos or somebody else's video because YouTube really likes that. It really helps my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.